Hi guys, it's Tampa Tech and I'll show you how to fix a Sony TV. It has no power, two red blinking lights. So I'm going to show you. Let's fly over here. And as you can see, it has one, two. One, two. Yeah, two red blinking lights. So get the power coming in right here. Then it plugs into the power supply. And the power supply um, sends DC volts to the main video logic board, and that is connected to the TCON board, which gives you, uh, you know, your image, your picture, and this powers on the backlight board, which is plugged into the inverter board. Yeah, what a beautiful thing. So one of these boards are bad. And since I'm not getting DC volts out <clears throat> or standby, uh, proper standby volts and all that good stuff, I think it's the power supply. So I uh, ordered a new power supply. So I'm gonna get that in. It was like 40 bucks. It was so cheap. I was like, hey, screw it. I just buy the power supply. And let's unplug it first. And it was cheaper on Amazon. So I just took my chances. Oops. Since I promised the person I was going to give him the best deal possible, I went with Amazon. They didn't want to spend too much money. Oh, this is where I got the board from. Oops. Where the heck? Come on, people. Uh, yeah, that's where I got it. And this is the board right here. Bada bing, bada boom. Where's my drill? You guys see my drill? Oh, there it is. Oh, right. <clears throat> Start unplugging things. So right here, this should have been my 12 volts right on here to power that on. I was getting nothing all day long. Nothing, nothing, nothing. This is my AC coming in. This Where's this? This plugs into the video main logic board. This is the audio cable. Audio. And this is... Yeah, this is my standby voltage and all that good stuff in the 12 volts right here. Unplug that. Plug that. Sometimes I had a bad diode right here. But not in this case, in this TV. Sometimes there was a bad diode next to the uh, transformer. Not today, people. I think another technician worked on this. It's missing screws. As long as you put the screws on the ground prongs, you're good to go. The other screws are just to hold it in. The, the ground ones are the most important. Like this one right here. There's this ground screw right here with the ground cable. The black wire is the ground cable. So we take this board off. I don't see any burn marks or nothing. It seemed like just I tested this board. I didn't see anything that was fraud or that too much damaged. But you know, I mean, usually there was like a couple diodes that usually go bad. But I just got the board. I got the board cheap enough. If it's usually over like 60 bucks, I try to fix it. If it's cheap enough, then I just swap the board out. So it depends. Uh, what is your time worth, really? Basically, that's what I'm saying. If your time's worth, you know what I mean? Or if you just want to like, you know, troubleshoot it. It's probably the best thing to learn. If you try to just troubleshoot it, to uh, find out what diode or what transistor is bad, it's probably the best idea. But I got freaking kids and work to deal with. Oh, we got to put the ground screw in, which is the most important screw. Ground wire. There we go. <clears throat> plug in the eight power last. Always plug in the power last. Uh, double 
double check all your wires too. This is clipped in, this is clipped in. This is not clipped in right. Yeah. Alright, this is good. I got ground screw here. I got one more ground screw. Me. Looks like it works. Cool. No more blinking light. So, if you're getting two red blinking lights, now you know how to fix it. You know? And you can get the board for about 40 to 60 bucks or 68 bucks all day long. Alright, so this is what it looks like. Let's go ahead. As you can see, the picture looks pretty good. Very expensive TVs, XBR. It actually has a pretty good bass. Yeah, so it works perfect. Don't forget to like.